Hey guys, Sean with Epic Construction. We've got a project going on in North McKinney at Trinity Falls. Let me show you what we have going on. So we're out here for a client. The initial problem they had was they had a leak inside their home underneath me right here. What we have is what's called the Dead Valley. We've got a lot of water coming through to these valleys and it's coming into this very small area. You know, the Dead Valley is where the valley runs into the side of the home. And what happened was it wasn't properly flashed and so the water was pulling up and able to go into the home. It was actually flooding through one of their light switches and coming out during the heavy rains. So that's initially why they called us out and we're gonna go over how we're gonna get this taken care of for them. All right, so how we're gonna fix this is right here's the Dead Valley. So as you can see, a lot of water can pool up in here and it builds up before it can drain out. And so the water is able to build up and then go in the home. We're gonna take all of this apart, take off this wood siding, remove this flashing, the metal pieces, redo all of it and use what's called ice and water shield to wrap the valley and wrap up the side of the home. Put new flashing back in, put the siding back on, have everything perfectly sealed, take care of the problem. All right, so we've got the valley all opened up and now we've learned a little bit more. So this is uh, the flashing we were talking about earlier. And what we believe happened is the flashing wasn't properly secured tight enough to where the water was actually going behind it, coming under this flash. As you can see, it started to cause rot, and that's most likely where the water was going into the home. So what we're going to do now is we're going to replace this piece, and get a better seal, and then we're going to go back again with that ice and water shield I mentioned earlier, and just overkill. Um, we don't really believe there's such a thing as overkill. We're making sure water's not getting in here, and we'll show you when we're all done. All right, well, we're all wrapped up here. I want to show you what we have for the finished product. As you can see through the progression photos we just showed, um, this is the valley metal that we replaced. And as we said at the beginning and through the progress, we installed the ice and water shield behind it. So there's two layers in here. Um, all of it comes through, it's all sealed up. Everything wraps up as we discussed. So this homeowner's problem should be resolved. We'll test over the next few rainstorms, but I've got complete confidence that we're good to go. If you or anyone you know is experiencing any water leaks or has any concerns about your roof, we'd love to help you out. Feel free to give us a call.